In the sanctum of sports, the locker room, athletes prepare for battle. But amidst the strategizing and psyching up, there's a hidden world of rituals and superstitions that many players believe are as crucial to their success as their physical training. This video pulls back the curtain on these practices, revealing the best evidence of superstition's moments and the facts and figures that underscore their prevalence in the locker room. The locker room is the stage for some of the most peculiar pregame rituals. Take Kevin Romberg of MLB fame, who believed he had to touch someone back if they touched him, leading to some bizarre tag games even on the field. Or consider NBA player Karen Butler, who had a pregame routine of guzzling two-liter bottles of Mountain Dew before being forced to switch to water. While it's challenging to quantify superstitions, their widespread practice among athletes speaks volumes. For instance, Jason Terry of the NBA slept in his uniform shorts the night before games, believing it brought him closer to the game. In hockey, the playoff bread is a well-known phenomenon, with players growing beards during the postseasons as a symbol of good luck and unity. Psychologists suggest that superstitions in the locker room offer athletes a sense of control in an unpredictable environment. They can provide comfort and a mental edge, helping players cope with the pressure of competition. Whether it's Michael Jordan wearing his college practice shorts under his NBA uniform or Larry Walker's fixation with the number three, these rituals serve as psychological armor for athletes. The evidence of superstitions impacting performance may be largely anecdotal, but the stories are compelling. From LeBron James' elaborate locker room attire set up to hockey players dipping their stick blades in the toilet for good luck, these rituals are deeply ingrained in the culture of sports. The locker room superstitions of athletes are a fascinating blend of tradition, psychology, and personal belief. While the scientific community may debate their efficacy, the conviction with which players adhere to these rituals is undeniable. As we've seen, from the quirky to the ritualistic, these superstitions are an integral part of the game. The locker room, it seems, is not just a place of physical preparation but also a haven for the superstitions that athletes hope will give them an edge in the game. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like buttons.